Hey, what's up, RGL? Uh, getting ready here to do uh, Predator for the NES. Um, this game was also released on Famicom as well as the Commodore 64, but that was a completely different version. And the Famicom version has a few extra, more difficult levels, so it makes the run a little bit longer. So we're playing on the uh, the North American release here. All right, let's make the timer is good. Be ready to go here. Alright. So we want to hit continue to start the speed run because it skips a little bit of a uh, cutscene at the beginning, I guess. So here we go, right into it. Uh, this is Predator. And we can see, uh, not quite sure why Arnold's wearing pink, but that's, uh, you know, that's the game. Uh, most of the uh, the run is damage boosting or iframe abuse on various enemies, and so we'll see that we got a fortunate troll pattern there, but that's fine. And that's the first stage. Oops. Well, we'll just do that. <laughs> we'll just remember to add 30 seconds there. Accidentally, uh, well, no. Hit the timer prematurely. Alright, so that section right there always has a ton of leg for whatever reason. There's not that many sprites there. Um, so in the speedrun, there's a setup uh, to get rid of that leg, but we didn't, uh, didn't need that there. Okay, well, so that's, that window for that jump is pretty, pretty t tricky. It is two frames, but we did get the backup, so that's not too bad. And this is this is the first level in the run where the game really is trying to troll you. Oops. So the, these steps here aren't really steps; they're like floating ledges. And if you walk off the edge of them, you're gonna you're gonna fall right into the pit and die. Um, so that's that's great. Thanks thanks game. Um, and then so this this weapon here is the punch. So if you make too big of a jump, Bill, you you'll actually lose the laser. Uh, thankfully, in this stage, the laser isn't mandatory. Uh, so this is the first stage with a predator fight, and in the uh, in all the stages, the laser is the required weapon to beat predator. And so we'll have to go get that before we can advance. This was actually one of my most hated uh, levels uh, uh, as a kid, just due to the tight platforming with these jumps here, but they're not too bad once you get used to it. So this level also introduces us to the butterflies. Uh, we didn't get the minute there, so that's unfortunate. There's an RNG minute you can get to kill the butterflies immediately. Um, that didn't work out. That's fine. Here's the first predator fight. That was a four and a half cycle, which is quicker than the standard five cycle kill. So here's again another uh, cutscene we just have to match for. Skip that. So this is the first big mode. You see these orbs are filled with weapons. And the, the three line weapon there, that's the weapon that we need. Uh, it's the fastest way to kill the, kill the boss. Um, so we got good RNG there, which is, which is always... Uh, important because if you, if you get the wrong weapon here uh, on the speed run it's uh, basically an automatic reset. <laughs> yeah. Not sure why for the big mode they uh, didn't go with the same pink but I imagine it'd be really hard to see with the background. So on this big mode, Predator is invisible, and we kind of have to just uh, guess where he's at. Sometimes the, the floating heads will give us a pretty, pretty good clue, but other times, you know, there won't be any uh, indication of where he's at, so. Alright, so the next stage, this is a pretty short stage, pretty straightforward. 
So we'll do a safety shot there, because that guy can be really, really trolly. And then... This stage also has a predator, so we do need the uh, laser. And we'll go top route here, so we can get the iframes there. Because that can be really tricky, uh, again, with these tiny platforms. Some of these enemies can be really bothersome and knock you off, and we don't want that. Alright, iframes there. It's extremely important to get that iframe. Oops. Uh, there we go. Alright. Now, second big mode. This is probably the easiest big mode in the game. So again, we need to get the two weapon multipliers. And uh, the type of weapons uh, that the orbs drop are, are, again, RNG, except for the first, uh, uh, the first spawn. The first two sets of spawns are guaranteed. So there we go, we got the second one. We don't have much to worry about. Um, again, this one, this one is a lot more straightforward. Uh, you don't have to guess what predator is. <laughs> yeah, so we just have to kill a bunch of these orbs before the predator spawns. And as you can see, we can just... The goal is to trap them in, that, in the furthest right corner, like that, and just continue to blast them. So, here we go. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. We got the scorpion boost there to start. Um, that's probably a coin flip with the RNG. Again, we can just see here that uh, most of the, the, the run here is damage boosting off the various enemies. Okay, so that's stage 8. Stage 9 here, there's a little bit of a clip that we're going to do, um, and... It, it saves about 40 seconds by skipping the second half of the level. Alright, so that was that was the frame-perfect version of the clip because we kind of screwed up the uh, setup there. So that's pretty nice. We, we messed up the setup and then we got the backup, which is frame-perfect. So this level has another uh, Predator fight in it. So we do need to grab the laser. So we're gonna stop here for a second, and that hopefully manipulates that butterfly. Yeah. So we despawn the butterfly, which is always, uh, always nice. The butterflies really suck in this game. Alright, there we go. So this, uh, well, this, this stage, this is the third big mode. It's not very hard, but there is a ton of RNG on this level where you can gain or lose literally 10 seconds either way in a in the run. So we just kind of have to wait and see what pattern we get. Alright, so we, we did get the second one there. Again, that makes the, the mashing on the orbs and the, the boss really uh, uh, a lot easier. A lot easier to deal with. Especially on some of the big modes where there's a lot of orbs and stuff you have to take care of. So as you can see, Predator's just sitting there, but he's just he's not gonna spawn yeah, right away, unlike the other predator fights. So sometimes, like I said, you can gain at least up to 10 seconds waiting for him to spawn, which is really, really frustrating. Okay. <laughs> so this is the uh, the halfway point in the run. Uh, this is one of the most precise stages in the game. Uh, a lot of tiny platforms and a lot of floating enemies that can just bop you to your death. So we yeah, have to be a little careful here. We just did that for safety because that was the, the worst pattern you can get there. And he, can, he has a tendency to just bop you right off, so that's fine. Okay, another, again, a lot of treacherous jumps here. So, let's see here. We got 
set this up one, two. All right, so that second dude despawned there, which is the goal. So if you stop at a certain pixel, uh, a couple of the other enemies on that screen will despawn, and that's the goal of, of setting that up there. Let's just get get past that part without uh, uh, worrying about those third and fourth enemies there. And it makes that stage a lot easier because if you have to, if those enemies spawn, you can't actually make that jump so, without them killing. But, so this is the fifth big mode, or it's big mode five. It's the fourth of the run. We skip big mode four on the route. There are a couple different routes you can take in the in the game casually, um, and we're obviously taking the fastest one. It's uh, about four or five minutes faster so, than the alternative runs. So again, we're still waiting here for Predator to spawn, uh, using quite a bit of time. But, you know, that's fun. We on this one, we want to time our iframes to his iframes. Uh, because we can't actually shoot when we have iPhones, so it doesn't really matter. That was a really good fight. We got pretty lucky there. So that was pretty good big mode 5. Stage 20, we have another uh, predator fight here. Probably the trickier, trickiest fight in the game. Because you have to deal with that seahorse as well. Okay, got through there. Had enough health to survive another jump, um, so that's good. This is one of the shorter levels in the game, so it's not too difficult. We just need to get a couple boosts there. That one, and then... All right, this is the worst level in the game, stage 25. Uh, I can't tell you how many uh, runs we've lost to this stage. There's so much RNG in this level, and a lot, uh, a lot of leg too. So we're gonna try a couple of manipulations here. So, okay, so you didn't despawn. Ooh, okay. That was picture perfect, actually. So we got that, that first minute. So now we can just do this. Don't, don't do it! Oh, okay. That, wow, that was so close to us being dead there. Okay, so we got past 25 in one shot, that's, that's pretty huge. Alright, so we didn't get that jump there, that's a, it's a 4 second uh, loss, having to run down like that, but that's fine. This, again, this stage is pretty easy, there is a, uh, the jump coming up here, the setup because uh, we're gonna try and clip so that skips having the rocks having to, or scorpions having to come back. So it is frame perfect as well. So we did get that. So that's nice. Uh, not getting that jump is an eight second time loss. So we, we screwed the, the setup there up, but that's fine. This is the last big mode in the run. Ooh, we want that. I'm not gonna be able to get that one, but that's fine. Anyways, so again, getting the multiplier there lets us smash. Um, whereas if you don't have it, you only get two bullet sprites per screen, which is really annoying. Yeah, so sometimes you can get a really bad player pattern here. Uh, nothing you can do about it, depending on where he spawns like that. Okay, so 27 is very, very, very tricky. It's a lot of uh, precise platforming here. So the, the red scorpions we cannot jump on, but the flashing ones we can. So okay, we got past that. 
Woo! Almost jumped right into the pit there, that was really close. Cooperate here. Alright, there we go. So, to get past that scorpion without getting hit, it is a frame perfect jump input, but we don't really care. It's only about a two tenths of a second time loss for getting bopped there, so. Okay. Oh, we got past the leggy section. That's nice. Oops. Alright. So this is the second to last level. We have to actually be pretty careful right here. So we don't want to take any extra damage. We don't want to take more than three damage before the laser, because uh, that would prevent us from doing the moon skip. So we're gonna go like this. That actually worked out really well there. Oh no! That's fine. Okay. Alright, so this is the last stage. Actually, we're just gonna play that save. That bird drops blood, and we don't want to take any damage at the top part of the stage. Uh, it, it's it's critical the way that uh, the the boss works. Um, he can either do one damage if he shoots you, or he can do four damage if he uh, rams you. And so we need to conserve the health as much as possible because of that. And it is RNG whether or not he shoots you or rams you. So we'll see here. That's fine, we got shot there, so no big deal. And uh, the fun part about the second phase here is the hits only count if you get it when his mouth is open. Okay, so that's uh, that's the uh, that's the run. And so this is just the last cutscene here. So with the what 30 some seconds, that's about a 17:05 in that range. So a pretty good time. Uh, it was deathless too, so that's that's nice. Thanks for the GGs, guys. I'm just gonna clear to the last uh, scene here. Yep, and that's our reward for beating the game. Uh, congratulations, uh, we have survived. So, thanks RGL for having me uh, and uh, being able to play. Uh, one of my favorite games as a kid for the marathon. I hope everyone uh, enjoyed the run and enjoys the rest of the, the retrothon as well. So, alright, see you guys around. <laughs>